In this tutorial, we will explore the new output functionality in BioWin 5.0. Specifically, we will learn how to display cost information, including the addition of predefined cost tables and plots to the BioWin album. BioWin 5 tracks and totalizes operating costs in three separate categories, energy consumption, consumption of chemicals and consumables, and sludge disposal costs. To add a predefined cost table to the album, right-click on the blank album pane where you wish to place the table. Select Cost Table from the resulting pop-up menu. A cost table summarizing the costs associated with each of the three main costing categories is automatically generated. A totalized cost is also included. The predefined cost table groups costs in terms of the three costing categories. If you're interested in costs associated with individual elements, you can add an element-specific cost table. Right-click on a blank album page and select Table from menu options. The Table Editor dialog will open. From the Elements tree view, select the elements you want to include in the table. You can expand individual element groups, select specific elements by clicking on them, and push the right pointing arrow to move them to the selected elements list. Or you can move entire element groups over at once by clicking on the element group and clicking the right pointing arrow. If the element you have selected has multiple outputs, like a secondary clarifier, all outputs are added to the selected elements list by default. If you do not want one of the outputs, simply click on the entry and press the delete key on your keyboard. You can move the elements around by clicking on them and clicking the up or down arrows. You can change the order of a group of elements by using the Control or Shift key to select the group and then clicking the up or down arrow. Choose the variables you want to include in the table from the element specific list under the ninth subcategory. You can either scroll down to the ninth category or type 9 in the specific element list. If you want to add more than one variable from a given group, you may do so. To select a continuous group, click the first variable of the group, and while holding the shift key, click the last variable of the group. To select non-continuous variables, hold the control key and click the desired variables in succession. Once you've selected the variables you want in the table, move them to the selected variables list by clicking the right pointing arrow or simply double clicking on the variables. Select concentrations. Mass rates in both are irrelevant for the cost information. To add a blank line between table entries, click the Add Blank Line button, which shows as a short dashed line in the selected elements list. If you want BioWin to display the total of a table's columns, click the Add Total So Far button. The word total will be added to the selected elements list. And the total will always totalize the rows preceding it. Click OK to finish. If you want to add a cost distribution plot for steady state simulation results, in a blank album page, right click and select Chart. Click on the Cost tab. In the Cost Distribution group, you can choose a pie or a bar plot by selecting the appropriate radio button from the plot type options. Use the Labels radio button group to specify if the distribution plot labels should show name and value or name and percent. When you are satisfied with the plot and label type, click on the current cost distribution button to generate the chart. Click the close button to finish. The top plot here illustrates a time series plot of energy costs. The energy use series represents the product of the total power demand and the electricity cost specified under project, cost slash energy, electricity. The service charge series, which is plotted to the right axis, represents the service charge specified under project, cost slash energy, electricity, and the other charges tab. The peak demand charge series is also plotted to the right axis. For the first month, this series plots the product of the peak demand charge and the base demand, which are specified under project, cost slash energy, electricity, and the other charges tab. For the subsequent months of operation, the base demand is determined from the peak demand observed in the previous month. The simulator samples the power demand every 15 minutes to determine the peak demand. 
The total cost series represents the sum of the use charge, the service charge, and the peak demand charge. The cumulative total yearly cost is plotted to the right axis and accumulates the cost of energy consumption each day of the year and will automatically reset at the start of a new year. The bottom plot illustrates a time series plot of the energy use charge. This is the cost of electricity specified under project, cost slash energy, electricity. To generate these plots, let's add a double pane page to the album. In the top pane, we'll create the energy use cost plot. Right click in the top pane and select chart. Click on the costs tab. In the time series plots group under energy costs, select the series you would wish to plot by clicking on the appropriate button. I'm going to add every series. The service charge, peak demand charge, and cumulative yearly costs get plotted to the right axis. Click close to exit the dialog. In the bottom pane, let's generate the energy use charge plot. Right click and select chart from the menu. Click on the costs tab. In the time series plots group under additional plots, click the energy use charge button. Click close to exit the dialog. The series will not be visible until we run a dynamic simulation, but they should resemble those shown in the example. Suppose we only want to show the electricity use charge for the most recent day only. We can add a subchart in our energy cost plot that illustrates this. To do this, right click and select Add Series from the pop-up menu. In the Time Series Plots group under Additional Plots, select the scrolling one day only checkbox and click the Energy Use Charge button. Click Close to exit. Now when we run the dynamic simulation, we can see a scrolling one day only energy use charge. We can also generate time series plots for sludge disposal costs and chemical costs. Let's add another double pane page to the album. Right click in the top pane and select Chart and the Costs tab. Click the Instantaneous Sludge Disposal Costs button and the Cumulative Sludge Disposal Costs Yearly button. Right click in the bottom pane and select Chart and the Costs tab and here click the Instantaneous Chemical Costs button and the Cumulative Chemical Costs Yearly button. Again, this series will only be visible after running a dynamic simulation but should resemble the example shown. You can also generate a time series of the Instantaneous CHP Power Credit Costs and the Cumulative CHP Power Credit Yearly. CHP power credit costs only apply when the user chooses to sell all CHP engine power generated. This is specified under Project, Cost Slash Energy, Combined Heat and Power. Finally, we can track the total cost for a project including the power, chemical, and sludge disposal costs. These series can be added to any chart by clicking the Instantaneous Total Operating Costs button and the Cumulative Total Operating Cost Yearly button. This concludes our tutorial on displaying cost information in BioWin 5.0. More information on the new features in BioWin 5.0 can be found on our website as well as in our new help manual. In addition, please check out our video library for additional videos on how to use BioWin.